Welcome to our lecture online. Now, based on what we learned last on the last video, let's see if we can figure out the amount of work required to pump a certain amount of fluid through a pipe given these particular parameters. Let's say that the uh, fraction is 0.1. The length of the pipe considered is 100 meters, so how much work it takes to move 100 meters of fluid down the pipe 100 meters. The velocity of the fluid at 0.5 meters per second and a diameter about a foot, about 30 centimeters. And remember that the work, the work difference between 0.1 and 0.2, in this case, will be 100 meters apart, is going to be the frictional head loss times the mass and g, which means times the weight of the fluid within that section. So we have the definition for the fractional head loss. Let's go ahead and now write down the equation. So then the amount of work done, so the delta W, is going to be equal to that's going to be F sub H, which is defined over here, F L V squared divided by 2 dG, D of course being the diameter of the pipe, and we're going to multiply that times the weight of the material, which is going to be the, the liquid, M times G. Of course, right away we can see that the G's cancel out, but how do we express the mass of that water? Remember the, de the definition of the density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. So the mass is equal to the density times the volume. And the volume, of course, can be expressed in terms of the cross-sectional area times the, the distance or the length. So in this case, that would be equal to the density times the cross-sectional area times the length. Let's go ahead and plug that in there for the mass. And so this can then be written as we have F L V squared divided by 2D Instead of M, we're going to write the density times the area times the length. So now we end up with length squared. The area, well, <clears throat> that could be D squared over 4, right? That would be the cross-section area of a circle. So we can write this as the fraction times L V squared times L, so that would be L squared. And we have the density and the cross-sectional area that would be pi times the radius that would be r squared all divided by 2d. And now we're ready to plug in the numbers to get the right result. So the amount of work done is going to be equal to the fraction we gave a 0.1, the length 100 meters and we have to square that, the velocity 0.5 meters we have to, per second and we have to square that. The density would be 1000 kilogram per cubic meters. Then we have the pi, then we have the radius 0.15 quantity squared and all divided by twice the diameter, 2 times 0.3. All right, let's see what we get. So 0.1 <clears throat> times 100 squared 0.1 times 100 squared times 0.5 squared times 1,000 times pi <clears throat> times 0.15 squared divided by 2 divided by 0.3 equals and the total amount of work required to move 100 meters of fluid down the pipe 100 meters would be equal to 29,000 452 joules because it's work the answer will be in joules and that is how it's done